So yes, hello, I'm Zibang. I'm gonna take you back to the year 2000 with this epic uh, licensed movie game here. Uh, of a movie I don't think I've seen in like the last 20 years, but I probably should rewatch it. But yeah, this is uh, just a 3D platformer, just like uh, you had got lots of these Disney games and stuff uh, at that time. And, and yeah, it's a great game and really glad to be able to showcase it here. Um, since I started running this game two years ago, literally everything about it has been changed by uh, great glitch hunters and um, great runners in the very small Groove community. But without further ado, I'm gonna start the game here by starting a new save file here. And I'm gonna count to three and hopefully start the timer. Okay, three, two, one, go. So yeah, this uh, game is uh, um, divided into multiple levels of different teams and they each have like three to five different levels and this village is one of the, like, as in most 3D platforms, is the most an annoying part of the game. Oh, and apparently I didn't get a jump there, that's a fantastic, I don't think I've ever fallen down there before. Um, yeah. This game, I think it runs at 30 FPS, so it's not very uncommon to just lose. Um, just die randomly, but it's, it's fine. This is the oldest skip in the game. Let's see if I can get it. I didn't get it. I'll try it again. So, okay, I didn't get it, but you can go underneath that gate, and it's the oldest skip in the game, and yeah, I can still fail it all the time. And here we do a specific setup to get the red idol from this bike kit. There we go. And instead of using this, uh, these are like keys that are used to doors, but we don't use this in the door. We're actually supposed to like, we're gonna jump back and do this checkpoint and then do this jump to the end of the level. Because all of the level is loaded uh, constantly, but there's like heavy fog, so you don't see what you're su not supposed to see. So, and this is also used, utilized in this level. This, this is one of the biggest like early run killers. Well, this is the biggest early reset point for the most part, because of this skip. Oh, I fell down. That's like, you can fail that trick in so many times, uh, so many ways. But, and I got really unlucky there, I didn't get a good jump off. So let's try this again. Okay, there we go. That's fine. If I get that second try and I run out, I'll keep it. I, I, don't, I don't feel like resetting village too much because it's hard to get a good village. Last time I did this uh, in a marathon, I failed the trick like six times, so... And I don't do view the end of level screen in the level in the game because by pressing F4, which I've bound to my controller, I can exit the level instantly at any time. But if I hit the end of level trigger before doing that, it marks the level as completed, so I can save like a second or two, literally every level. Here we're gonna try a new glitch. I didn't um, manage to get it, but it's fine, because that's the harder way to do it. And here's the uh, backup. I would almost never get that, but if we charge and look into this door at the same time, for some reason it wrong, wrong, wrong warps me into this J sequence. I'm supposed to be a turtle here, because Kuzka has different forms. Which we are using some levels, but we, you're not supposed to do this race as a llama. And here we are, because of this wrong warp, which no one knows why it works. But if you like a charge and look uh, into a door, uh, it causes some unexpected things. This was only discovered like this year, not too long ago. And we only used that it two times in this run, but it, it does some funny things with doors. And that's the only wrong warp it does. We have no clue why it does that, but that's that's really fun, because this is way more fun to do as a llama than a turtle. And I'm just gonna finish the race. Uh, there is a skip, you can do you skip this cutscene, but it requires a uh, very good movement uh, in the race. And it's if I fail it, I soft lock the game. So I'm not doing that in a marathon, but... You saw that this funny animation, you're supposed to be a llama here, so the animation just goes bonkers, but luckily it doesn't crash the game or anything, it just does that. Just looks funny. Okay, we're going to the last level of village. This is a level where I'm gonna change to a keyboard, because I'm gonna perform probably the hardest trick in the run. I, I probably shouldn't be doing this, but I wanted to showcase this. So there's this technique that was Discord last year called Upwarps. 
Here we do a double up warp. And it only works. At the Okay, there we go. That was really good. Um I, I don't I almost never save time doing that, but I wanted to showcase it because there's a few spots in the run where we could do that, but it they're even harder than that, so and I'm bad at playing with the keyboard. Uh, so those trick that trick is so precise that it's almost impossible to do with a controller, which I usually play on. Oh, here's another skip. There's a boss fight here, but I don't feel like doing that boss fight. And here's another kind of up warp. I, I have to jump at the, in the first frame after a roll to get a really high oh, yeah. jump. There we go. I'm gonna just... There we go. Done with village. Now I'm just chilling. That was the worst part of the run for like marathon purposes, I feel. was good enough outside of the one really funny death in the very start of the game but yeah jungle night we have to only three levels here this first one would be pretty long i guess but luckily we have skips for like all of it or like we have two big skips that skip stuff okay this first one isn't big but we're supposed to like charge this tree down but you can just jump over the gap by like jumping right next to the tree, no problem there. So like charge jumping is the fastest way of movement when I have charge, but like charging is as fast, but it's, it drains the charge gauge. But if I jump constantly, okay, there's another sequence. That's a, that says like I'm over a minute, I think. I'm not sure because it's always been in the run. Uh, but yeah, as long as you keep jumping, you don't lose charge, and that's very important. Like charge management is a thing. You don't want you want to be um, Spending as little time in the ground as possible with charge. Also, if you if you collect five coins, you will get an extension to your charge god. So here we will collect ten coins for that exact reason because um, we need every bit of charge we can have in this level because it's really hard to manage the charge properly in this level. And it's, if you run out, then it's quite awkward. But here, here's a puzzle we kind of have to do. There's a skip to this puzzle, so this drains a pool in the other area but um it can be skipped but it's so hard that it's not even done in the world record and let me tell you the world record does some crazy stuff uh, a lot of some of which i will not be doing this round i will be doing almost all of it but. here's another up warp pretty, that's one pretty easy but those are like pretty random feeling tricks basically if you do certain inputs against a wall at a certain angle you just get a really high jump and i that was not discovered until last year and it's completely uh, tore the game apart with new skips everywhere and some levels became harder some levels became easier this level just became much nicer because i don't have to do like a couple of puzzles and uh, boring stuff like that so i can just skip like using that rock for example i can just do this first try that was that was really stupid i, I just spent like that i just did that in practice and failed it 20 times in a row so forgetting it first time is always nice i'm gonna do some rolls here just to sp spare some charge so i can actually have a charge those enemy cycles are important as well that guy can get in the way we're gonna do another up warp to this corner skipping another section so it's very cool what this movement technique is able to able to do and some cutscenes well all of dialogue we skip really fast but all some of these in-level cutscenes we cannot skip. And the thing with this, some of these triggers in this game for the doors is that um, almost like all end-of-level end triggers are always active. And we use that in a couple levels to, to skip the entire level, basically. But other doors, we actually have to open them, so they actu the doors actually work. And here I have to be careful to not die. And I did that jump like that just to spare life. Okay, so I'm... I'm doing good on health. I shouldn't get hit by this guy either. And I should have enough charge for this section. Just, just line up the cycles. And I should be able to do this jump. Yeah, let's go. That's good. Um, that part is uh, really awkward with the charge and stuff, but it went quite well. And this is pretty early in the run, but this is one of the longest levels in the run. 
And this guy's in a cool, good position, okay? That's like, that's also like cycles. Not, probably not RNG, but just cycles basically down the luck where that guy is. Okay, I never, as a kid, when I had this game, I never got past this level. So you need to mash like two buttons or more to in order to get speed. But I thought as a kid, because I was playing on a keyboard, I thought you could only smash with, uh, mash with space bar. And I couldn't figure out how to like do that and turn at the same time. I couldn't get like the bar full, so I never beat this level. So I just played the first two hops all over, over and over again, as a kid, as you do. I just accepted my defeat and never played anything else until I started speedrunning the game. But yeah, this is just basically an auto-scroller doing this. So, next up is... Um, th so th this is the sequence in the movie where they like uh, go uh, tied to this log and they fall down a river. This section in this game lasts four levels and like ten minutes, so during these levels um, just read you can read donations as much as you like. All right, fantastic. Uh, <clears throat> we have a $10 donation from KG117. Uh, there's no comment, and it's not put towards any incentive, so I think it's a good time to remind you that coming up uh, at the end of the day, we have uh, arguably one of the chillest runs there is, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Low Percents, um, which does involve uh, a lot of nothing. It's going to be a very, very relaxing, cozy end-of-day stream. Uh, but there is a donation incentive to skip Storlord, um, who's the boss of uh, Arbiter's Grounds. Um, we are $602 out of 1000 to meeting that incentive. So uh, if you do fancy it, then, um, well, if you fancy donating and you don't know what to put something towards, then that's an excellent suggestion. Uh, also, as a reminder, uh, if you do donate uh, $10 or more, then you are in with a shout to win uh, any number of amazing prizes. Uh, these are cumulative totals, meaning you do not need to, for example, you don't need to donate $250 in one go to get your chance at the uh, the Switch Grand Prize, for instance, if it happens over the course of the marathon, and similarly with the, uh, the lower value prizes. So, absolutely, uh, please, please do keep supporting an amazing course. Yeah, and during these levels, if you donate, you get probably your message read quite fast, so this is a good timing to donate. Um, so basically the one tech we do here, we okay, we try to not hit the walls. I've only hit quite many walls. It's normal. It, it looks bad, but it doesn't actually lose that much time. Uh, and then I do like lots of duck damage abuse here, because in other levels, if you die, you get work back to the next last, latest, last checkpoint, or if you don't have any lives, you just game over. And you only get lives from these dolls called Wampies. But in this level, we just die, because in these levels, this river levels. If you um, die, you don't respawn anywhere. You just keep going and you lose a life. So this is a good chance to. Uh, we just go through everything while using iframes, as you can see. We don't care, care about these enemies. They can do whatever. We're just going forward. And this first one of these is probably like the hardest one as well, which is weird. Ah, that's better. But in the end, if it's like if a difference between a bad and a good river one, for example, it's just a couple of seconds. So yeah, I do remember you saying that the uh, the, the river itself is uh, yeah definitely shorter and uh, more entertaining in the movie. Yeah, it's um, well, I have as I, I should have probably watched the movie in preparation for this run. That would have been um, unfortunately not oh. lazy, which is what I'm incapable of. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was. Uh, I remember the ski scene being like really fast-paced and not very long. But this is the exact opposite of that. Uh, I can't remember the exact thing myself since it's been a while. But I know that uh, um, yeah, the, uh, Cusco and Pacho are just having this, <laughs> the arguments about how they got themselves stuck into this mess. And God, I would never know if it wasn't for you. And then, oh no, it's speeding up. Wait, what is here? Don't tell me. It's a whole bunch of jagged rocks. Yep. Cool. And it's going to come culminate in a waterfall. Yep. Bring it. <laughs> Although this this river definitely is bringing in a lot more, I think. Uh, have you tried pulling so what, what I it, it's it's unfortunate because um, I, I really think that if this level these levels didn't exist or we could like skip them in some way, this game would be like an S tier speed game, as far as 3D platformers go, or at least you know if you don't count crazy stuff like Ratchet and Jack, which are just insane, but like, most 3D platforms are pretty uh, simple to run, and this one is all as well, but it has tons of um, 
um, skips and strats and things you can do, and it's really fun. But River is not fun, it's just 10 minutes of nothing. So, it's just um, it, it kind of downgrades the game from an excellent speed game to just a good speed game. But, but yeah, not much we can do. That's what most like why, why I, I enjoy practicing the game more than just do, doing full runs because I don't have to. I can just keep True River by playing a completed save file. <laughs> so yeah, I almost never practice these levels. At least there's not much to practice. But yeah, got a quick five dollar donation uh, from Mitcher. It just says, "Got this pizza." Yeah, thank you, Mitcher. Seeing some familiar names in the chat, nice to see you all this fine morning. Although I don't know if it's fine here, I didn't look outside this morning. Yeah, it's probably fine. There's no need to look. Yeah. So here's a cro sh section where I need to shoot crocodiles. And I, I just almost got hit because I pressed the wrong button to fire. But um, this is a basically an auto scroller as well. It only, it doesn't matter how fast we shoot these crocodiles because they always spawn at the same times. So that's also fun. It would be nice if this was, there was actually an incentive to play this section well, but there is none. Oh yeah, we just... Well... I shouldn't get hit again, obviously. I would lose another life if I did. I can't remember where this guy spawned. I just look around. This is the last guy. And th there I wanted to reach hit him as early as possible to save some frames, but yeah, that's... This is the snakiest crocs I've ever seen. Okay, but... I don't know about the viewers, but this section goes by... Well, I guess I'm just gotten used to it. It goes by decently fast. We're on the third level now. We're gonna race against this... Well, we call him the bike kid. I don't know what role he has in the movie, but in this game he's just an annoying prick well and we have to uh, get keys uh, from him quite often in this level we just have to race him in this amazing showdown down the river I don't think this is a very good place for a kid to be in the inflatable boat but all right I mean whatever I mean also that the kid in the inflatable boat is happily racing against two people clearly tied up and floating down the river against their will It happens. Not to not to mention the guys just chilling out uh, side by side on their on in their homes, just yeah. watching this happen. Yeah, but I mean, I've managed to lose this race once somehow. I insane things happen when you play games long enough. But for the most part, it's just uh, here. I'm just holding back a bit because if I um, uh, hit his back, I get slowed down. I want to be in front of him so he pushes me onwards, just like this. It's it's nice. And you get a speed boost like that. That's the one tech you actually have in this level. I don't know if it's how much time it even it saves because it feels like there's some kind of rubber banding going on with the speed and all. I'm sure it saves some time, but it's just satisfying to do. Well, you have to when when you have levels like this, this you have to take the little you can get with the entertainment value. Here I'm gonna go over here just to get to the fast path. Gotta take the correct path from the two choices. Probably doesn't even matter either way, but, you know. All right, almost done with done with this level. We have won the race. Incredible. And the river levels end with an RNG boss fight because, of course, they do. Of course, there's an RNG boss fight in the end of this section. River 4, yeah. The second boss fight against Isma. The first one we just skipped completely, but it was really boring. You didn't miss anything by not seeing that boss fight. So here we have to shoot these inflatable animals into the, the gate to break it. I have no idea why Isma gives us ammunition for this, but alright. And this has some funny RNG because these spawns are random and if you sometimes the, they just explode in the middle of like nothing which can lose a lot of time that hasn't happened to me for a while luckily but I mean my 
I've lost like 30 seconds to this level at first. Usually it's like plus minus 5 seconds. That felt decently fast, I guess. Hard to, hard to know without looking at the timer. Uh, nothing, nothing stupid happened, so that's always a positive. Okay, so this is basically where the run starts. As well, like the rest of the first uh, early game is like you just want to get get to jungle day, and then you hope you don't have to play river again. So that makes the game a little bit less reset heavy because you don't want to reset and just like do river again. Okay, but we do some movement to skip some scott scenes here and touch this stuff. So. This level I used to, when I learned this game back in the day, it was one of my least favorite levels, because there's like a... Because one thing these Lyasid games always had for some bizarre reason was like a stealth section. Um, and this level also has a stealth section, and I absolutely hate that stuff. Okay, now I, I accidentally spent a lot of my charge, that's not good, but... I gotta skip the whole puzzle sequence by doing upwarps and just getting up here. So that makes this level so much more, so much more bearable. I have to roll around these corners because they can do some funny stuff if I don't. Basically all the actions are bound to like the same button, so you can sometimes see me do the action I was not meant to do. Like, for example, grabbing a vase or some other item requires you to be completely still. And if you're not still, you just roll, which is fun. Okay, we're almost done with this level. Okay, first try up-warp, always nice to see that. I, I tend to mess up. Like, up-warps are always like... It's a, it's a not a hard tech, but it's like... You can just randomly mess them up a lot, and it feels really bad. So it just feels like... Like random, if you get them first try or 20th try, but... I don't know, for the most part... I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, um... For the most part, um, they go quite decently nicely. Some are harder than others, some are more consistent than others, but... Ow. But yeah, these, these are one of the levels where we don't do anything unintended. This jungle day too, we just... Uh, it's just a platforming level. Where we try to go fast. And try to keep charge at all times, hitting all these cycles. Checkpoint! I have to aim at this opening here. Get the first idol. Checkpoint. Try to get between these plants. Okay, try to. Okay, this cycle was not oh, cooperating. It usually is. Okay, I don't know. Uh. B. Yeah, this basic movement when you have the charge is really fun and fast-paced. Okay, let's. Okay, I got between those plants. That's that um, makes up for the rest of the things because that one is quite hard. Even though it might not seem like much, sometimes they just attack you, and you have to approach them correctly so they don't attack you. Okay. Uh, jungle night, jungle day three is a rather boring level. There's also nothing unintended here, and this is one of the first level where you see the frog transformation. None of these transformations are, are like very common in the game. You see them in a few instances. Here we take this rock to this button to spawn the potion. Transform us in this epic frog. So here we have like three jumps. Because you see, the, the, this is how train the mechanic. One, two, and three jumps. And you don't want to hit those buttons that have the crosses on them. You can just preserve the maximum jump from one room to another. Here we have to like chill out a bit. So we can have to wait out the timer. So we can actually do like a sword jump again. 
and then do the long jumps. Yeah, grab this on me there. There we go. Please don't miss that one. Checkpoint. And here's like a puzzle. We have to follow this dude around to hit the buttons in the correct order. And it's quite slow because the fastest way to do this is to always wait for the jump timer. We try to hit this. Perfect. Hit that wall bounce. Okay, and then booyah to you as well. This guy, get the idol, exit the level. And now for some more interesting stuff than these levels. Mountain, this. I'm gonna do a, try to do a skip here. It's okay. Yeah, you, you, I'm trying to like skip that trigger, but it's really hard. I've only gotten it a few times in a round, so that's whatever. Skips this cutscene and says a few seconds by jumping like all the way past the triggers using. Like, the trigger is extremely huge, so it's really hard to just get that potion without triggering it. And, yeah. Here's another one. We have this puzzle. We should be raising these platforms with these um, stones. So we can get up there. But we don't... We don't need all of them. And we don't even really need to do the puzzle properly. Booyah! This is... Uh, I have to get Booyah. very in the very edge. Hey, does this even work? Booyah. I might have thrown it. Booyah. I usually don't mess this up. Booyah. Okay, Gusko. I, I, I guess I'm repositioning this one. Now it's close enough. So now I don't don't know if I'm far enough. Yeah, I'm far enough. That's a fossil skip. You can also do that from the floor. It's like a one fr perfectly, like it's such a precise trick. I, it took me like half, a, half an hour to get it once and the world record does it, so. Don't ask me. Like if you go to leaderboards, you can see that the world record is like way ahead of everyone else. And yeah. He's a pretty crazy player. But okay, we've got that section that can be deceptively hard. Yeah, this one is a very very cool level, Mountain 2. We don't really do much intended stuff here, especially now that... Well, this level is now nowadays easier than it used to be because we had to do a really hard trick back in the day called the elevator skip, but nowadays we just try to like upwork past this, this um, scenery here and then we get a stone from this section. Okay, what? Okay, I can apparently kill enemies like that. I've never seen that before. They jump into you during a cutscene, they just die. <laughs> I've literally never seen that before. That, that, that that's, does, does nothing, but it's funny. Okay, that, I'm glad to know that. Um, Yeah, and that's one skip, and then we do another skip. So there's, I, I think there should be like a puzzle to like, to like um, get this platform moving, but if we do this properly, it's sometimes tough with an analog controller. Yeah, we can just jump over that gap. And here's another one. We should be doing some dumb stuff here. I don't. You, it involves like a like stupid NPC and stuff. So I don't feel like doing any of that. So there we go. You just get through that wall by using a precise setup. Okay, this is. Not great. This is a very cycle based level, so if I miss this cycle, then it's gonna be pain and misery. And I think I'm gonna miss it because I don't think that was very optimal, but. Okay, I just got it. This makes no sense. Sometimes I play well and I don't catch a cycle, and sometimes I play like that and I catch it, so whatever. I get to show how you actually play this level. But here is a boulder I can't really dodge, so I'm gonna do this kick to get around it. Jump into this hole here. Just that one. So that's that was that's all well and good. Nicely done. That one. Llama coming through. Booyah. 
Okay, here's a mini game against Kronk. So we have to get four idols before the other one, but the we actually let him pick up these ones because they always spawn in the opposite side of the arena. So it's actually faster to do this this way. I'll just go where the idol will spawn. No RNG here or anything like that. No Spyro 2 popcorn shenanigans and you know similar, very similar mini game. But this one is just free. Okay, and we enter the city. I'm doing something very intended here, as you can see. Another up warp there. And now it's a skip that this is also pretty old, but this skips like the entire level. Because the. Okay, you need to do a kick uh, to this in a certain manner. Okay, I clipped in, I think. Okay, there we go. Skip the entire level. So that's one of the longest levels in the run. Now it's the shortest level in the run, so. Okay, CD2 actually a long level, despite there being a bunch of strats here. Hmm. First one is the, this... Jump across this hole. There you go. Actually, not that easy. Let's have a look -see. This cursor sometimes doesn't spawn. And if, if it spawns properly, then I can don't have to wait for that another cycle. But yeah. if it doesn't spawn, then it's really hard to hit the target and I'll just... Wait, it's bigger. I don't know, I have no clue why the cursor spawns or doesn't spawn. It's just one of those funny things you have in these games. Okay, here's another up warp. Which can be annoying, but it wasn't too annoying this time, luckily. So, the, the strats for that section used to be really annoying. That's, that is so much easier than what we used to do there, which is cool. Let's have a look see. So we uh, like go through this small gauntlet to uh, like get two oh, yeah. idols to get through a door. Okay, I don't catch a cycle, so I'm gonna shoot this target a bit earlier. I'm gonna be careful with this. You have to respect these beaters because otherwise you can fall and lose a lot of time. There we go. Here's something I'm gonna do called guard clip, which I hopefully will get. It's not too hard, but if you don't, if you fail it, you can't really like retry it. Ooh, again. Now I need to bait him here. Yeah, there we go. Just clipping through that door. Cost me some health, but it saves like 30 seconds plus, so and it makes the level much nicer. So I'm I'm really glad I do that really smoothly. Okay, I'm oh, okay. No, 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 no. Don't die. Okay. Um. I'm, I'm gonna be careful here because I don't feel like messing up this level after that good start. Okay, I'm gonna pick up some health because like this, you can kill these enemies by charging at them, but only if they're looking away. And sometimes they can just turn at you at the last moment, so I take them here pretty safely, so I don't get owned. Okay, but yeah. And also, I need to remember to pick up charge potions in this level because that's in my PB, I oh, kind of yeah. forgot to pick one up and I end up running out of charge mid-level and I lost like a minute to it, so... Yum, yum. Well, I don't think it still would have been second place, so that's whatever, but... And we're, we're zooming through this level, okay. That was not great, but... Try to run past these guards. Like, just jump like that. Okay, that right, hit me, but now I can just... This... Another Check small point. skip incoming. Let's have small a look skips see. everywhere in this game. Let's have a look see. Let's have a look -see and let's jump through. over that. Let's skip the puzzle. There you go. Checkpoint. Boom, baby. There's a. Okay, you don't actually have to do this sequence like this. You can just jump out the last block, but it's like a frame-perfect jump. And it's these buttons work in a really weird way, where if you don't stand on them long enough, they don't activate properly, and you they like instantly go away. So like I like stand on the button for a, a bit, so just to make sure that I actually get the blocks to stay there. Here's one of the oldest uh, major skips in the run. 
golden head skip. I have a setup completely different to everyone else because I was so bad at the setup that everyone does. So I made up my own. So let's see if it bit, doesn't betray me in a marathon setting. So I'm gonna shoot it around here. And beautiful. Booyah. Just slightly off angle when I try to grab something, Kusku just does the booyah attack instead of grabbing the thing, so that's always fun to see. Oh yeah, I'm jumping, 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 jump. Another level that we used to do this level pretty much casually. And now there's like. Oh yeah, I'm yeah it's, we don't do it casually anymore. Checkpoint. You'll see soon. The start is pretty standard stuff. Hmm. We don't, I can't really do much here. Checkpoint. Everything cuts in with some NPC. We don't have to care about this NPC anymore. Whee! Oh yeah, I'm jumping, 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 jump. Checkpoint. So instead of doing this section properly, like normally, we d we're gonna stand on this platform. This is, this was found before we had like uh, tools that uh, allowed us to just easily see the entire level. Okay, I did something wrong there. I always fail that in my, if I have a good run going, so it's nothing nothing oh, yeah. special to me. Let's I'll try a little bit of a different lineup. It's pretty pretty precise jump. That's why I'm I'm. It's crazy that this guy actually got found before. Okay, yeah. nice jump. Gotta make up for that good city too, I guess. Can't have too much nice, too many nice things. Okay. Hopefully I'll get it this time because it's always annoying because you have to wait for this entire cycle. Boom. Yeah. Hmm. Usually if I fail that, it's because I'm kicking it too early. Ah, that's better. But I don't, I don't. I didn't feel like I was kicking that early. So I could be kicking too late. Hopefully I'll be actually be able to get it. I have a very like um, I have a very generous estimate if I just happen to forget how to do a trick like this case. <laughs> so yeah, I'm 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 just gonna try to. There we go. Okay, it, it should not take five tries, but marathons are marathons. It's fine. We move on. We forget that ever happened. So in this ne next area, I have to be really careful to not touch checkpoints. Because I have to restart the entire level if I just touch checkpoints. So yeah, that's... You will see soon. The only reason why we are here is because we want need to charge. And there's like charge now nowhere in this level to be found. So how we get the charge is that we find this secret area and there we get full charge. Yeah. And now we're back at this area and what we can do is just jump over here. Yeah. If we could just get charge earlier, we didn't would have all of that. Okay, these guard cycles are funny. Because, and this section is really dumb. If you mess this up, you will lose a lot of time after kill runs of this section. I'm gonna throw this face like this so the guy if he encounters the face, he just turns around for some reason. Even though it's not even directly lined up to him. Get this? I did that section. Alright, that was just as it should Check go. Point. And here's another epic boss fight. Let's have a look. I, ha I should create like myself some stairs to get up there. I only need one stair. Let's have a look -see. Okay, I didn't get a... Let's have a look -see. There we go. That's, yeah. Another unintended way to do that, that boss fight. There's a skip you can do to skip this cutscene, but if you fail it, you crash the game, so that's fun. So let's not do that here. Not gonna do any tricks that could result in game crashes. 
There's like one other one. Okay. Now we have Earth Catacombs. This is also a very famous scene from the movie, so they made like three levels based on this scene. And funnily enough, the last one of them is the most boring one. So there's actually quite a bit of tech in these levels. Uh, whenever you are on the ground, you get slowed down. And what we want to do here is to like... Utilize holes and these arrows to gain speed. So every time we like do this, for example, we gain the speed because we're not in the ground. And by the way, um, even if I failed that last skip five, uh, four times, it's still faster than the old way we used to do the levels. It would have been still been like, but compared to against my splits before we found that trick, it would have still been best segment. So, so it's, it's it says like two minutes or something crazy. I don't know. Catacombs 2 is one of the like most intense like platforming levels of the run. It's quite tough to do perfectly. So let's see how it goes. There's not that much to explain here. I'll just try to not get crushed by these rocks. I'll try to follow like good lines so I can just keep on charge jumping like this. And then hitting this. Okay, perfect. I have to go straight in the middle there, otherwise I will bonk in the platform, even though it looks like I'm like way uh, below it. It, you, it. The hitbox is just massive, so... Some spacing in there. Checkpoint. I haven't been failing it that much lately, but I used to fail it all the time for some reason. Now it just feels easier. I guess you improve at games by playing them. Okay, um, here's another section, we need to catch a cycle, we need to go really fast here, so let's go really fast. And not get owned by these cycles, because they can be quite random. Okay. Fast enough, okay. Even though I got hit, I still caught it, nice. It's scary, I felt like I could have missed it. Okay. Then we just do things that so we don't get hit here. Get this. Idle and jump down so we get to the previous room instantly. Get some charge. And here's a very funny boss fight. So first there are these three block kids that we obviously need to just destroy and... Well, this guy is doing things he usually isn't doing. What is going on? Why are you... I... If you position yourself correctly, they should never do this, but you need to charge at them. It's marathon things. It's fine. Just stop, please. Okay. We got rid of those guys. We get their father. What have you done to my kids? Or whatever he says. I don't remember. Okay, this is RNG. He spawns red or black bombs, and we need to hit him with three black bombs. And this is already bad RNG, which is funny. Okay. Thanks, guy. Thanks, mate, for helping me out. Okay, what is this? Okay, there we go. It's not a, you usually don't lose much time to bad RNG there, and it's pretty also pretty common to get really good RNG, but, you know, it's still... Checkpoint. If you get really unlucky, you can lose over 10 seconds to that stuff. Always a fun... Always a fun thing to have in speedruns. Catacombs 3 is the hardest Catacombs level, but it's also the most fun, so hopefully I'll be able to do it properly. One mistake, and I'm... Well, okay, there's like one section that matters, the rest of it is quite easy, so... But if you fail that one, one like, trick in this level, you just lose like 40 seconds, so that's fun. We don't need to pick up that one, but we have enough. We shouldn't be dying in this re in the rest of the run. There's like one location where I could be doing a death abuse, but it dep depends how much health I have at that point. Okay, this section soon. I have to position myself properly. I, I can hit like multiple speed arrows to like get really good speed. Yeah, you see, I'm going extremely fast now, and that's unintended. Because you're not, if you position yourself properly, 
Um, you hit multiple speed arrows and you get insane speed. But if you miss position, you just die. You just fall through the floor, which is also really funny. But glad that didn't happen. I was I was not sure about my positioning, but it worked out. So thanks, game. Okay, so Catacombs 4. Well, as you can you have seen, the whole level always exists in the level, and we can jump ra straight to the end of the level. But we have to get through some tricky death planes. So there's a setup for this, which I if I do it properly. Yeah, I didn't do it properly. I was probably too early on the impulse. That always happens in good runs as well. But this saves a lot of time, so second try is still let's easily have, worth it. See. Yeah. I might have been even late in the inputs. Now I'm not sure if I'm early or late. I practice this trick all the time because this keeps happening in runs and it's always nice to say that it keeps still happening. Uh, so position yourself right in the corner, aim at the, at this point. And classic stuff. It's really hard to tell what the actual mistake is whenever this happens. I just have a rhythm I need to replicate. Tasty. And I did this <laughs> before the marathon run, I got it first try like three times in a row, so... Hmm. Classic stuff, okay. Yeah. This, is the, yeah, this is the worst case scenario in this level. Let's have a look-see. Yeah. So basically I just charge jump and then I start holding up left. Tasty. Or wait, hmm. wait actually. No, it is. Yeah. What is going on in this level now? Have a look, see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look, see. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm just gonna re-enter re the level. Maybe there's something wrong with something. <laughs> Anyway, that's always really fun to just kill your runs too. Let's have a look see. Lama coming. Yeah. Wait, am I? Mm. No, there's no way I'm misremembering the inputs or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's nice trick, by the way. It's 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 really precise, but it's, if you do the correct timing, you should always get it. Like the the lineups were right. I was just I was failing it to the point where I, I was not sure if I was pressing the correct arrow buttons, because it just messes with your brain when you start failing it like that, and you don't trust your setup anymore. But we're done with that. Glad we have a good estimate. I'm still gonna be a below estimate, by the way. At least, I hope I am, but whatever. I found that setup, by the way. So, go me for finding a setup that doesn't work in marathons. But alright. It's just a timing-based thing. There's not much to talk about in this level. Well, so you can read a donation. Fantastic. Uh, well, yeah, we're interrupting uh, Sonic Adventures Twinkle Park. Uh, to bring you some wonderful, wonderful news. We have a $10 donation from Kindred Phantom. He asks, what did the Llama say when he found out that he had been robbed? I've been fleeced! 
Uh, thank you very much for that donation. Um, so yeah, I also want to quickly say um, we are raising money for Alzheimer Fondon. Uh, please do keep donating. It's going to an amazing cause. Uh, you can support uh, the stream and therefore the charity in a number of ways, including cheers and subs as well. All revenue goes straight to the charity. So please do um, keep supporting. So we just hit some buttons here, nothing special, but we need to stand on them for a certain amount of time. You can even soft lock this level. I, I do, I've done it a couple of times, I have no idea why it happens, but it breaks. Okay, here I'm gonna do another angle storage like this. It keeps a cutscene by spawning me, like, past the cutscene trigger for some reason, so that's fun. A free, like, seven seconds or so. Okay, grab this potion. And this is the first and last time. Well, we should have seen it last time, but I completely skipped that section. So here's Bunny Kusko. Charge! Charge! Those guys have great voice lines in like every version of the game. I used to run this game on the Finnish version, and I uh, it was a, a fun thing. But for some reason, the Finnish version is like super broken on modern computers, so I stopped doing that. Uh, pretty fast. Okay, lap two, another. I could do some funny things here, but it would could crash the game if I did it wrong. So we don't want to crash the game. Let's just watch some of these cuts since it's not a big deal. This level is interesting either way because, well, we're not gonna beat it the way you would think. I don't know. I really don't. I have no clue why you can just ride in the air there. You get yeah, I have no follow-up questions. It all makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's a good game. It's, it's fantastic. It's, it's actually like... If I... Yeah. This is such a fun game. You should... If you have never played this game casually and... And or are fan of the movie and you like 3d platformers and if this looks fun at all try it. it's like the dialogue is really funny like it's just a, like it's such a comfy game to play it's a it's, oh holy moly it's so good hey, hey, I'm a again. yes and we're getting pretty close to the End of the run, we have two levels left. They're pro both like platforming levels, they're also pretty long. Lap 4 is... This is one, also one level where it's very easy to throw the run because when you're nervous on a good pace. Probably the... This is the hard, one of the hardest levels here. I could jump past these spikes, but they're extremely unpredictable how they like knock you back, so... You could save a couple seconds by jumping past them like that. Whatever. So we just take damage here. We get so much health. No touchy. So you, you just charge through things. Oh yeah. And for the mo if you know what you're doing, you're, you'll be fine like this. Ah, that's better. So I've gotta jump at these enemies properly so they actually checkpoint. Actually die. Okay. Reaching the first checkpoint is yeah, it's the most dangerous part because if you do any mistakes in the first part, you just lose an insane amount of time. But yeah, we reach this door now, we're just chilling for the most part. Checkpoint. Well. Here's a thing I need to do. I'm gonna jump on the same frame as I land on the button and I can skip a small cutscene. And that is very important in the next one of those buttons that appears. That one is just like a couple of seconds, but the next one is actually huge for like the route I use. There are some major tricks in this level that are super, super, super hard and not marathon friendly whatsoever. So I won't be doing those, but this is still like a pretty unintended way of playing the level. As you'll see if you know, I hit the second one of those jumps. 
we need to bonk into this thing at a certain angle to have it build the correct stairs for us. Collect the idols. Get to the door. Llama coming through. And here. Yes! That's important. You will see soon. Because I skip the cutscene, the game gets a bit confused. And the next time I uh, activate a cutscene, something very funny happens. So because of that, I can now move during this dialogue. Yeah, I need to attack her um, as her dialogue ends. And she doesn't spawn her weapon. She should have like a mallet. And I just did that. And that saves a lot of time in the boss fight because I can I don't have to wait. I just have to wait for her like iframes to run out. But I don't have to have, wait for her to like stop attacking. Because he keeps, she usually keeps spinning with the mallet and usually you can't damage her. Well, you can, but it's hard. And that's just a really funny thing. So I, I at least I got that. So we're doing a bit of an unintended route in the last part of the level. I'm gonna wait here for a while, it's just for cycle manipulation. So now when I uh, get to the left side, I should actually like have the elevator come to me, saving a couple seconds. We're not gonna go to that, that door. It's the intended way of doing it, but it's actually... <laughs> Slower, also, the, some of these jumps are pretty tight, so don't mess them up. I'm at the point where I could actually like death abuse now because I have only two health, so you'll see why. I'm gonna activate this button, which open uh, activates those platforms. I'm gonna death abuse to this guy. It takes a while because I have two health instead of one, but now I'm here. And I can use these platforms. Open this door with a timer. Run here. And then you get this. There's also a trick that they get that idle early, but it's also really, really, really stupid and not marathon safe. But if you want to see those, go check out about record. It's really entertaining to watch. Okay, we're gonna go to the last level of the game. Checkpoint. <laughs> this level is, um, even though it's last level, it's much easier than lap 4 in terms of like platforming. Out of my way. Here we just need to hit these three targets. <laughs> These gorillas look threatening, but they don't really do anything, so... <laughs> they just make funny noises to distract you. Okay, last time that we see the bike kid, there's a funny thing where if you do this section on the keyboard, the bike kid just like doesn't like j accelerate properly and just catch him instantly. And I keep getting uh, crap from the community by not changing the keyboard for that section, but it's like, if I don't do mistakes, it's as, as fast uh, as keyboard. But the problem is I always do mistakes in that section and I end up losing time to it, so that's why they laugh at me. But I think it's funny. <laughs> Just one more way to checkpoint. throw away some time. Okay, we catch the checkpoint, then we just get through this enemy. There's timer, ti timer doors are pretty tight. I always forget that this section does not have a timer door. We can just jump past the enemies. This guy's in the way. Banana, banana. It's a reference to the world record holder. Don't at me. Um. Okay, we have to stand on that button as well for quite some time because otherwise it doesn't work. I'm gonna take that this guy. You don't have to, but it's really hard otherwise. Okay. One of the last platforming challenges in the run. We try to try to do this without having to activate that thing too many times. Woo 
And then we just yeah. chop down and... Yeah. And now we are entering one of the worst final bosses of all time. So if you know like Nasty Nork from Spyro or like Cortex from Crash 2, this is like... I don't know if this if it's even easier or equally as bad, but it's not very, very great and it's not very hard. So... This is a chase sequence where we just go to the right and every jump is insanely easy. And well, yeah, um, that was that. Um, despite some of those tricks trolling me pretty hardcore, I still got sub one, so... You know, it's, it's, it's good. It's fine. So yeah, if you thought this game looked like any fun, then just please give, play, give it a play casually. It's the same game on both PC and PlayStation 1, so whatever version you can get. Of course, we run, run on PC so we can get instant loads and all this funny stuff like auto splitters and, you know, um, stuff. But yeah, we have a really, really like small but passionate community about this game. And we always welcome new people, so... And yeah, don't go anywhere, because on stream 2 we will have more license-based ge license games. That's what I saw from the marathon. We are, we are gonna have like a couple of Disney games and then some Barbie and Matrix. So there's gonna be some banger content coming, so... Oh uh, yeah! Thank you. If you. Thank you very much, ESA, for having this game. It's so, so nice to be able to showcase this game that I just love so much from my childhood and so on. So it's a beautiful game. Thank you. Yeah, no, very much. Uh, thank you very, very much, Sir Z Bank, for that. And indeed, uh, like you said, if you uh, enjoyed watching some pretty good and also fun speed games of uh, licensed Disney products, 3D platformer style, then boy, have we got the stream for you. Because coming up next is Disney's 102 Dalmatians Puppies to the Rescue. Jikarek, who will be doing all levels and a lot of out-of-bounds shenanigans. So um, stick around and we'll be back very shortly.